beautiful, isn't it? Hmm? Yeah, it's, uh, it's really peaceful. Why can't all of life be like this? How do you mean? I mean peaceful. Live and let live. Everyone going about their lives, not imposing on each other. That's not really how it works. As a matter of fact, there are people imposing on others right here, right now. That cyclist is about to pass some pedestrians, and someone has to get out of the way. Everyone's connected, and that sounds wonderful in a vacuum. But everything affects everyone. There are rules, and there are consequences. You may have a point there, but everyone does get out of the way. People cooperate and get along. Perhaps that cooperation could be applied more outside the park. Everyone having their own path, method, and speed, and just being accepted. Might seem that way, but the pedestrians, they hate the runners, and the runners hate the pedestrians, and everyone hates the cyclists. Moving fast or moving up often means pushing aside or stepping on those below. We live in a world where anyone can aspire to move faster, or climb higher, or let the universe pass them by, or just sit back and enjoy after a lifetime of trying. Life here, it's about the effort, and the idea that you get out what you put in, and that you can pull yourself up and build a better life. It's not really true for everyone, now is it? They say all men are created equal, but their circumstances certainly aren't. Otherwise, why is there so much competition and spite? Greed? Hatred? I suppose it's that everyone's afraid that if they give, they won't also get. It's also about motivation. Some doing better, it drives others to try and do the same. If everyone's the same, and there's nothing different about our lives, there's less reason for us to be better, to do more, to grow. We're too individualistic to merely acquiesce to the whole. It's a generous take. If so, why so much fear of the other? The outsider? We fear what we don't know or understand. We're programmed to be communal and social. We surround ourselves with those like us because we feel safety and comfort in that. Validation. What about variety is the spice of life? It's only once humanity started banding together into larger societies with people with different ideas that innovation and education were able to prosper. Maybe there's something to that. Human history is filled with groups getting bigger, while also fighting outsiders who spoke, looked, or believed differently. But recently, we've made great strides in becoming more inclusive. But you're not there yet. No, I suppose we're not. But we're working on it. We both know why you're here. It doesn't have to be this way. You know that it does. I really think we could have gotten along. We're not all that different. I hope one day we'll be ready for that. This was nice. Indeed. But you can't stay. Okay. Send me back. I wish it were that simple. I see. Hey. Is it really true you guys put your decaying corpses in the dirt? Yes. We bury our dead. Gross. It really was a beautiful night.
It was a pleasure meeting you. Can't believe no one noticed anything. It's New York for you. Their blood smells weird. Think anyone will come looking for him? If they do, we'll just neutralize them too, right? Just like the ones before. I don't think anyone's looking for this guy. He wasn't a diplomat or a spy. Just some poor schmuck looking for a better life. The illusion of human primacy must be maintained. Can you imagine how the world would tear itself apart if people knew there was more out there? Other worlds, other beings. Could destroy religion, upend politics, reshape civilization. The reframing of humanity would cause people to see their lives as meaningless, empty, among the suicides. We don't even know if any of these planets are friendly. We can't take that risk. We're just not ready. Maybe someday we will be. But not today. And probably not tomorrow. Clean this up. No traces. <laughs> 